so exciting. Uh, yeah. And I'll turn my volume down. In approximately eight minutes. So What's happening in eight minutes? This is very exciting. Very tech savvy. Very impressed. Oh my God, look, there's Paul. I can't see who everybody is there. That would be good to go. Okay, I have to turn this down. Oh my gosh, you guys, hi, I'm live. This is so exciting for Metal Gear signing. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I'm so excited. This is, so, I'm, if you could see where I'm sitting behind an ironing board and a Bible in my hotel room in Dallas, I'm here for a beautiful event called One Voice and put on by the fabulous J. Michael Collins and Gravy for the Brain. And my fabulous boyfriend, Mark, is here. and We're having so much fun. There he sees my fabulous assistant. Hi, Mark. He's so cute. He's the best guy ever. And I wanted to um, invite you guys, I'm sure you all know this because you're much more tech savvy than I am, to go to um, Streamily, right? Streamily, like I'm stream going down a stream, I-L-Y, Streamily. Go to their YouTube channel and um, they've got it. I'll show you. They've got us all shmushmash together. See? Isn't that cool? So everybody's together. There's uh, there's Quentin, he's signing remotely, Christopher Randolph, there's me, Lori Allen, and then the lot of the cast is actually together, but I had to be here at Dallas to receive an award. So I'm very grateful that you're here, and I'm going to go back and forth, let me know if it's too crazy making. I won't always see the comments, I apologize in advance, I'm waving back, I'm so grateful you're here. And one of the main things we have uh, that's so cool, hi David. Hi, celebrity fan. I see you a lot. Zero two one. Nice to see you. Oh, thank you from France. I love you too, you guys. This is very, um, it's very emotional. So I'll probably be going back and forth. They're showing the poster. So a lot of you guys signed up to get the poster and there it is. Isn't that amazing? So let me just quickly see if I can turn up the volume and if it gets chaotic, let me know. Hello. Hi, hi, Jonna. Ah, uh, Jonna. Okay, so they're just getting it together. I'm gonna go in between. Bear with me. I'm blocking out of. I don't need to see CNN headlines right now, but I feel like I should go ahead and sign. Um, 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 um. For Sun Good, is Sun Good here? Should I wait for a moment? Let me scroll through. Mark is on, are you on IG Live with me? He could be. <gasps> he could be, okay. Um, I'm letting, P uh, I just need, oh, office from Saudi Arabia's in the house. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Sorry, I'm just go scrolling up and seeing who else here. This is exciting. Thank you so much. I love it. Hey queen, right back to you. We have Saudi Arabia's in the house, France is in the house. This is so awesome, you guys, thank you so much. Talk about loyalty to the end, right? Let's have some hearts for being loyal during this crazy time, right? It's been a little crazy. It's your birthday, fishes and chips, happy birthday. This is exciting, it was my birthday just a minute ago. You're a Leo, I'm a Kansa. All right, queen, thank you, yes, I will take that. Um, and Ireland. DK Voices, hi! Hi, Dave, how are you? Nice to see you, my fellow voiceover goddess. Wonderful. Sorry, just getting, seeing all who's in here. Hello, France. Bonsoir. How are you? Fantastic. All right, let me go back to this stream yard over here. Again, thank you for being with me. Um, everyone can see and hear me. Let me mute myself over there. Bear with me. Everybody's muted. Everybody's muted over there because I'm together. I'm getting it. Hi, Shane. Oh my God, this is so fun, you guys. Thank you. See, everyone's getting themselves on this. So has everybody had a chance to go to? That's what it looks like on my end. I just realized it doesn't look like that. I just realized that. Can you guys hear me okay, by the way? Can you hear me? Give me some hearts, please. That's an alert for Macy's. Can I get some hearts? Can you guys hear me okay? Can I say hi to you as Pearl? I sure can. Hi, David. Good afternoon. Nice to meet you. Um, <laughs> and then can you 
Sorry, I'm trying to do 14 things at once. Okay, you can hear me okay, right? So give me some more hearts just to make sure. Yay! Okay, good, good, good. Um, okay, so that's what I was looking at. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for the, the shout-outs for these fabulous. Look at that. That's the first thing I ever saw of the boss, the first rendering. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just gorgeous. I love her so much. So once again, I will ask if... If I'm missing anyone, if I've missed any VIP things in travel. Hi, Melissa Greenspan. I love you. Hi, hi, hi. Um, Sungood. And Sungood has asked for the following to be written. All that's left for you to take is my life. By your own hand, one must die and one must live. The one who survives will inherit the title of the boss. Is Sungood here? And if I'm not seeing you, my dear... Will someone else let me know? Uh, celebrity fan 021, you can ask questions in the chat. I don't have time to take a lot of questions at the moment because I want to make sure I can get these done. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and sign. All right. I've been at my event here in Dallas. It's a lot of Brits. So I'm sorry if I'm going into that voice for no bloody good reason. Oh, hi, Lori. I hope to meet you one day and get the autograph in person. Me too. Bye, Derv. Thanks for dropping in. Hello, hello. All right, I know what I'm going to do here. All right, I'm going to sign for Sun Good, and it is number 34. I'm just going to sign that right now before I forget. Okay, and then Sun Good. We will. I'm going to put a heart for you. And I love that it says, Lori Allen must write this quote. All that's left for you to take is my life. I think I know this one. But I always want to make sure I get it right, even though I've said this a million times. All that's left for you to take. All that's left for you to take is my life. I'm going to tell you guys in a second what it was like recording this because you'll flip out. And the AC is on because it's hot here. Let me know if it gets too loud. And again, I'll look down and look at comments in a minute. Um, isn't that funny? Every time I get nervous and I want to make sure I get it right. Uh, one must die and one must live. I'm starting again. How about that? How about I'm just starting again? There we go. Thanks for your patience, you guys. Uh, thank you. I am a huge fan of Pearl and SpongeBob myself, but we'll stay in the boss for now, yeah? All that's left for you to take is my... This scene in the, is just incredible, isn't it? What a loyal badass. Why can't she run for president in 2024, right? I mean, I sometimes have to borrow the strength from the boss myself. I'll like look up quotes. I have them earmarked for stuff. And then I'm like, I want to be her in real life. Um, by your hand, period. <laughs> One must live. And you had a very specific dot, dot, dot. What? Okay. One must die and one must live. The one who survives will inherit the title of the boss. One who, dear diary, the one who survives will inherit the title of the earth. No, I'm just kidding, of the boss. Well. All right, sorry that took me so long. It's been a minute. Okay, 
Sun Good. I don't know if you're here, but I have written, yes, Lori Allen must write the following quote. All that's left for you to take is my life um, by your own hand. One must die and one must live, and that one will inherit the title of the boss. I don't think so. I'll always be the boss, but that's okay. I'm happy to share. Okay, and since I started over, now this is number 34. Okay, and now we'll check in and see what's happening live in the room. Isn't that fun? Um, thank you to all who sent in um, merch and really cool, fun things. I want you to know that that one that I messed up on, I'm not going to send to you. Um, so, and thanks for getting that poster. I want that poster. I'm going to pay for the poster. So I think you have great taste. Um, and let's see, there was another one. We have for William. To William, codename Ax Axiboss. Axiboss. I don't know if you want it. To, who you want me to make it out to? Hmm. 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 Why did you betray your son? Because hi, Larissa. Because it had to be done. You know that better than I do. What do I love about voicing about the boss? First of all, she's so strong, and um, she is about her country first, and that's. That's how I feel right now. I have very strong ideals and opinions. Sometimes they get the best of me um, to the detriment of me, like the boss. But it's uh, she's very strong. And I, oh, oh, I was going to tell you what happened during the recording. So we have an amazing, beautiful human being friend of mine and ours, Chris Zimmerman Salter, who's an amazing voice director, casting director, voice director. And she would be in your ear and she's like, you love him. You hate him you know, um, you need to kill him. He needs to kill you. And so she would raise the acting stakes because when you're in a recording session, I, I know I was with David a time or two and with Vanessa Williams a time or two. Um, Vanessa Williams, what am I saying? Vanessa Marshall. Marshall, hello. And, but a lot of the time you're in there by yourself, right? So you have to have so, you have to have like a sense of your character and what she or he believes in. And that's just voice acting because your partner, your voice partner who you're talking to or with is not there. So it's really, I find it very um, exciting. I think that's why I like voiceover so much. You're the ultimate storyteller. And uh, we didn't get to see any of the, you know, I got to see a little bit of what she looked like before. But then when you see it start to all come together, it's like mind officially blown. So um, those are just a few of the things that I love about the vo uh, uh, voicing the boss. Uh, oh, thank you. The Invisible Woman. Yes, I know. Sue so Richards, Invisible Woman, thank you so much. You'll see Quentin Flynn, right? If you go to the Streamily uh, channel on YouTube and they've got us all piped in together, like I said, and Quentin was my brother, right? Quentin was, uh, will always be my most fabulous uh, Johnny, Johnny Storm, my little brother. Um, do you remember Yvette? I'm a big fan of her as well. I have a lot of Yvettes and Yvettes in my life um, whom I adore wherever they all are in beautiful places looking over me. Uh, nice earrings, thank you. I think I got these at The Gap. Uh, okay, let us, let's do our other one, our signing to William, codename Axiboss. I think I'm gonna sign that to you that way. And then, oh my God, I love the quote that you picked. This is awesome, okay. Um, 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 I'm gonna do this, Axiboss, A, X, I, 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 boss. And he would like the one who inherits the title of the boss will face an existence of endless battle. All right. And he likes them in all caps, so I'm going to get you exactly what you need. One who inherits. The title of the boss. The boss. It's all about her. How many people think there should be a prequel? You want to give me some hearts for that? I mean, seriously. There you are. Here you are. I see you. I'm here for it. Yes, you are, my friend. AXII boss, correct? I'm so happy that you're here. That makes me thrilled. The one who inherits the title of the boss, thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, will face an existence of will face an existence of endless battle. Isn't that true? I feel like how that's how we all are as global citizens right now. 
We have a lot before us, folks. All right, William, thank you. I'm gonna give you a heart, my darling. And then on the back, it is number 36, so there you go. All right, okay, my love, there it is. Um, I'm so happy you're here. And there you are, number 36, it is verified for you. I'm gonna put it aside and I'm gonna check it off here so I don't lose my place. And then honestly, so many wonderful things came in that are for merch and the poster. Oh, and I wanted to tell you, so I'm at Dal in Dallas for those who have just joined. And again, thank you so much. Um, I, uh, da, 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 da. oh, so I'm receiving a, a lovely award tonight for um, like a body of work, which means I need to go do some strength training before I go down this evening to the ceremony. And um, so when I go back to LA, I'm gonna sign uh, I won't be with them, but I'm with them virtually. So we'll be done with this part and I'll go join them virtually. But I will go back into the office and sign the poster, which is amazing. It's abs it's incredible. I think they must have put it together and it's incredible. And so um, I'm going to sign that and then some of the send in, the, the send -in items there because there's a lot of that. So I can't do that here because I'm in, in Dallas, but I wanted to be with you all. And I wanted to just quickly give a shout out for these other prints. So if you go to my streamly.com shop, this is one of us together. So if you want to request, since I have to go back into the store, the Streamly, their shop, their office or whatever, um, if you want to, you can sign up and reach out to them and ask them, get David to sign this. And this is a beautiful print that they made up for us. So this is obviously the boss and snake. And then I wanted to show you other options. So if when I go back in, if anybody wants to join in late, I love this. A fan sent this to me and I thought I would make a nice glossy to sign of that. She looks kind of vulnerable and young and badass there. And this is one of my favorites for a million reasons, right? So we've got these three other boss pictures in addition to the one you saw that people have asked for today, William and Son Good. And then I know we don't speak Pearl and Diane's name, but we will for just a minute. Remember when I go back, oh, I'll give you good, good and well fair notice for when I'm gonna go back into Streamly in person in LA to sign the poster and to sign the send-ins. So we'll do another Instagram live. So I just thought I'd show you the other boss photos and I'll give you notice of when I'm gonna go back in and do that. And of course we can always do a Diane Simmons. And if anybody's feeling like warm and fuzzy, we always have Bonnie's mom. And then I can also do a Pearl Crabs for you. So when I announce the, or just your all, your, your all purpose photo, your all purpose photo for the many voices, all the crazy voices that live in my crazy ass head. But I will let you know when I'm going to go be in the office and I'll get that all out on the socials. And then if you'd like to get another one of those or just hang out to get the, um, the sign in signed and the poster signed, you'll let me know. So let me see if what else did I miss besides, oh my God, I'm here for it. You're so cute. So I've got a question for you. How long have you been voice acting? Um, hi, that's Wolfhawk Field 34. I think I got that right. Um, I've been voice acting since I was a kid. In fact, that's what I'm going to talk about tonight in my speech. I'm nervous. I still have to finish it. And um, my parents uh, met when they were in theater school, and they were and are fabulous actors and writers and directors and singers and voice actors. And then my dad went into advertising, and he started voicing his own commercials. And my parents were divorced at the time, and my dad still used my mom. She's an amazing voice. Diane Simmons is based on my mom doing the news in the Washington, D.C. area where I grew up. And my first, my first voiceover gig was as a kid for Archway Cookies with Willard Scott. So that's how I started. And my dad was in advertising, like I said, and then he'd stick me and my sister in his commercials, either on camera or voice. And I did that off and on throughout high school. Then I went to college and I wanted to be like a regular student. And then I got out of college and I started actually with promos. I think it was for Lifetime, the channel Lifetime, the very girly channel. Um, and that was cool. And, and I'm still here. I'm still here, go figure. So I hope that answered some questions. Uh, remember Yvette, Nicole Brown. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, she's a very active on our board, as am I. Um, she's amazing. That's from her 21 fan page. I can't quite, you can private message me that. I can't see it. You're so wonderful. You're so wonderful and you're so very welcome for, um, uh, for Ax is it Axiboss? Axiboss. I don't know, but it's very cool. And I'm really grateful. Which scene from Metal Gear has crushed you the most? What do you think? 
what do you think? On the bridge, their conversation is so intense and so beautiful and so meaningful and so all of their relationship just comes to the surface and she scares the shit out of him and um, and their lives change after that. And then, of course, what I think is actually beautiful to watch, of course, is the death scene. It's, in, it's absolutely beautiful. But their relationship is so complicated and delicious and... It's just, it's so, it's so, it's so very complex. So I think that scene where they actually have to confront each other and need to confront each other and what happens after that. And then the death scene is just, like I said, it's beautiful to watch. That's the little bit that I got to actually see um, uh, working with uh, Hideo. That's, that's the scene that I got to see. I didn't see, obviously we were voicing that day, so I didn't see to picture, but I saw the scene of the flowers and me laying there and I was like, oh my God. So um, L'Oreal as Wonder Woman would be cool. Yes, especially because I like to wear a lot of bracelets. I would love that. Um, that's my age too. Wow. Are you 56 too? Are you? Cool. Yay, 56. Hello, greetings from, I can't see, is that from France, from Germany, Italy, from Italy? I can't see the flag. Let me put my glasses on. I'm so sorry. Tell me. Um, oh, this is lovely. Hi, Lori. My name is Diego de Jesus Soso Castillo. I'm 35 years old and I'm a huge fan of your work. Uh, I'm uh, from Metal Gear Solid 3. Thank you. Thank you. It's a, such a, such a beautiful game. I'm still always just blown away by how it affects people and how she in particular is such a, she's a bad bitch as we say now, right? That's somehow become the thing people say, but she's a bad bitch. And I want you to know um, that I thank you for having made Oh, that you had a sublime adoles adolescence from watching her. That's amazing. And I will always love you too. Thank you for the beautiful note. In Venezuela. All right, we'll have uh, a beautiful day. Buenos dias. Hasta luego. In case you have to pop off. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Are you still voicing in SpongeBob? Yes. Yes, I am. In fact, there's the two shows, you know, Camp Coral and uh, the Patrick Star Show. So I get to be a baby in Camp Coral because it's like what we were like when we were little. So if she says daddy all the time, this crazy, adorable, lovable, loud mouth, then for Camp Coral, I sort of auditioned in the spot and I said, guys, really? I, I don't want to audition, but I think she would sound something like, that sounds like a baby pearl, right? So that's how that's going. Um, you were only one when Metal Gear Solid came out. Me too. That's crazy, right, honey? My boyfriend's over there laughing. Look at that. Wait, were we only one? I was only one. I was one, too. I just had really good speech and good vocabulary as a one-year-old. Um, uh, let's see. Only got the email last night as how to send in an item to get signed. I assume I have to wait till another time to do another signing. Yes, but go, go to the store you know, streamily.com slash Lori Allen. And it'll give you instructions, I believe, as to how to uh, send in an item because I am going to do a signing when I get back to LA so I can sign all the send-ins and all the posters, which is most of what we've got going today. I hope that helps. Um, you can do that maybe while we're still on. And I'll ask when I join too. Oh, you in Dallas, Texas, but I wish I could meet you and... Uh, in California. You're in Cal I'm in California, but not going to happen. Who knows when it get for me, I'm really safe and cautious. I don't know about you guys, but I'm vaxxed and, and staying out of big, big crowds right now, just because I have a really bad asthma, not terrible asthma, but just enough that if I got it, I just don't want to be sick. So I'm staying very careful, but I will be going out to convention soon. And in the meantime, that's why I like these so much from Streamily because I get to at least see you and chat. I know it's not quite as, as delicious, but soon. Which scene from Metal Gear Solid has crushed you the most? Okay, we went over that. Um, their relationship when she just has to lay down the law. And I wanted to read to you guys some some quotes of hers. Um, I'll do that in a second. Just because I love her. I have them earmarked because that's how much I... Uh, Pearl Krabs is funny. Oh, Francesca, you are my heart. I'm your heart. You're my heart. Thank you. I take that in. Don't forget to notice my questions. I see your questions. I see your questions. Um, I think you're asking them here. How do I DM you? You just, whatever you need to ask me, you can just ask me here. And I know I see you on Twitter too, so feel free to just put it in the chat, okay? Um, got it about the, did I want children? 
sometimes, especially when I see my beautiful um, boyfriend's granddaughter, I wish I had children. Um, yes, I'm friends with Candy Milo and Serena Irwin. So I saw your questions. I just can't go live questions with you at this exact moment, but I hope that helps. And um, oh, thank you. Thank you, Wolf Hawk. And what else have we got here? Okay. Make sure I'm not missing anything. I wish Pearl had a spinoff too. You guys have to do me a favor. So we need to get on Twitter and keep twitting, 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 tweeting. Um, bring Diane back. I think that would be amazing for a family guy. And then um, could you imagine if Pearl and Diane had a lovely dinner? How would that be? She'd be like, what are you guys having? I'm covering the bill because you ladies can't handle. And Pearl would be like, that's fantastic. I would like to have lots of cake and cupcakes. And Diane would say, I'm on a diet. I'm going to have a slim uh, pescatarian meal, a gluten-free pescatarian meal. That's how, you know, that's how she'd go. Um, what else? What else? What else? Okay. Hi, Timothy Nolan. Are you involved on the next Metal Gear film? Can't say. What do you think about Oscar Isaac as solid? I prefer, you know, I... Uh, my snake will always be David, always, but always open to other interpretations as an artist. I'm pretty, pretty stuck like glue to my cast. So speaking of that, let us, how did you get involved with Pixar? Really quick, I'll answer these few last questions. Matt the Castle, um, an amazing human being, Mickey McGowan, may she rest in peace. She was a contractor for people that who did Walla. You know what Walla is? Walla is like all the background noise you hear in voiceover on shows or um, cartoons, films, live action on uh, live action voice. And so the Walla is all the stuff you hear in the background. So she was looking for uh, my fabulous agent, Natanya Rose, at the time. Well, she's still my fabulous agent. I love her with all my heart. And I'm so grateful for her. Mickey McGowan reached out and said, who do you have that's like a middle voice? That's like a good actress who's also wildly funny and good at improv because you have to get up to the mic and just go. So if they're like, um, we need somebody who could be like a Bonnie's mom type. You have to just jump on in there and, and make it happen. So I have a lot of improv training. And so that's one thing that if anybody's interested in voiceover in general, I really encourage you to do improv. It makes you fast on your feet, directable, castable. You make the client look good. Um, so that's how I did that and doing all the wallet for all the Inside Out and Toy Story and to Three and Four and Monsters University, all that stuff. You're in a big, huge uh, soundstage at Disney together. I think now, still because of the pandemic that we're still in, um, most of us are, if you're doing ADR and looping and Walla and that kind of stuff, you're in separate rooms. So whoever the voice person is, um, uh, like Terry Douglas and, 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 and all these wonderful folks that do that, they're like a master orchestrator you know, going from one room to the other. Um, you want to talk celebrity fan to impress people. Well, you're impressing them by just being present right here. <gasps> Tanzania. That is awesome. How is Bumble Ben? He's cranky, but he's adorable. He's adorable. Maybe my boyfriend, Mark, who's here with me, will bring up a picture of Bumble so he can, we can show you doggy pictures because you are so supportive. Yes, David is the first and only snake to me. We need a prequel, duh. That's what I was gonna say. You guys need to start tweeting out and saying, we need a prequel. Wouldn't that be amazing? Uh, please save this live and post it. I will. I definitely will. David forever. I'm voicing in Tanzania. Are you a voice actor in Tanzania, David? That's amazing if you are and if you are not. That's so cool. Thank you for joining. What time is it there? Um, it's okay for all the SpongeBob questions. That's why I'm here. A huge fan since you were very young. Me too. Again, I did this. Oh, thank you, Mark. He's trying, giving me pictures on his phone of the doggies. Um, uh, thank you. I know SpongeBob just seems to strike everybody's heart, you know, because he's such a loyal, like, love everyone kind of guy. Um, he is that way in real life, Tom. He's so amazing. He directs the show. So I remember when I first found out, I was like, why is he giving me direction here to session? I was like, oh, because he's the director now. This was many years ago. Um, okay, I'm going to show you a Bumble picture. Thank you, honey. Um, and then we're going to join the big room. There's Bumble. Look at that crazy boy. He gets snippy. When he wants you to pet him, he goes, he wants to play and get pet at the same time. Right, Mark? And so he goes like this. Because he doesn't know if he likes, wants to play. A, he's grumpy. And or he, lo he loves the way Mark pets him. Pets him really hard. And he's like, oh, that feels good. Thanks, Dad. Um, so thank you. There's Bumble. So cute. Okay, let's join the room and then I'll come back and just for, 
fun. We'll just read some of the boss's favorite lines because I love reading them. Okay. Wait. is probably stinkier. Um, although I love them all and all of them have their own charms. But Go sign on to the YouTube channel from Stream Elite. Hey, Lori. Uh, Hi. Hi, Lori. Hi. What their favorite moment was or is uh, from their time uh, in the game, recording, working, or viewing, What's what is yours? Hi, guys. It's so good to be with you. And I so hope that everybody here on Instagram, say hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. So make sure you guys are at the YouTube, Streamily's YouTube channel for the uh, the JewTube or the YouTube uh, channel for Metal Gear Signing. That's a great question, you guys. Thanks for asking. Um, I think recording, David, you and I had a day together, I think only one time. I think we were together only one time, and that was so intense. Uh, the thing about recording is I was just talking to folks here, and you guys all know, whether we're the VO side or the fan side, the, the audience, the listener, the viewer, is um, it, the storytelling of it is so intense. The scene with Snake and Boss on the bridge, that just, that is just like, that's their everything. That's their, that's their relationship as a whole, right there, what happens to them. The stakes for both of them personally and professionally and the handing off of the baton and knowing that death is imminent. And then to watch what I found, what I've been getting great questions here, what I found the most beautiful to watch, of course, of course, is the death scene. It's absolutely beautiful. And I got to see a bit of that as I left my session. And obviously the voice and the picture weren't synced up at the time, but I was like, that is, it's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. So. Yeah, that, that, that death scene is so devastating and all the cherry blossoms are falling and they, and uh, I love how schema forces you to shoot the boss at the end, you know, yeah. like you have no choice. The game won't go on until you pull Right, the until you shoot me. Really. Until you so kill me. So devastating and yeah, those are, those are amazing scenes. Yeah, and the other thing that a lot of people, yes, David Hayter's there, everybody's there. So if you guys want to go on to... Uh, Streamily's YouTube channel. The whole gang is there. Um, We're all here. Um, the other thing that I think is so amazing is, uh, as voice actors, we were fortunate enough to work with the amazing Chris Zimmerman Salter, right? And yes. to have her in your ear as your acting partner is so flippin' intense. And she's like, "You, you want to." F him. You want to kill him. <laughs> he is your lover. He is your enemy. He is your everything. And so you're like, you leave a session, and it's. It's not so much vocally taxing, although you do have to be careful of your voice, right, as a voice actor. But the emotion after you, hi, Debbie Mae West. Um, hi, Robin. Hi. hi, Christopher. And all the doggies. But, yeah, that ha having that kind of intensity, I don't think I've ever slept so well after a session. It's intense. So um, that's really great. Who else is here? Oh, something fun from Instagram. But, yes, I think the voice acting and having Chris as your scene partner in your ear, the voice director, is is so intense. Also, I loved her favorite uh, direction that she probably gave all of us. And she's like, why don't you try it this way? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to keep it clean, but fuck it. That's so true. Robin, that's so true. I hope everybody. Yeah. I mean, yeah. she just gets in your psyche to this day. I can like, is that Josh? Hi, Josh. I think that's Josh. Hi, babe. Love you guys. Yeah. You can like hear her. She's uh, Chris Zimmerman too is like the, uh, you know, three or six degrees of Chris Zimmerman because she's connected with that old um, uh, Hanna-Barbera group. And yes. I feel like, you know, she's supported all of us over the years and it's sort of spun off into her relationships and we work for other people like Gordon and, you know, Amy yeah. and all these other things. So she's I'm really so grateful to her. We should take um, we should take some group shot and send it to her and be like, thank you, Chris. She's changed all of our lives. You yeah, know, I mean, she has changed such a beautiful I, I thing, Robin. But who was talking? Great to get her on one of these. No kidding. Shows. I think that'd be. Wonderful. If you're watching, Chris yeah, Zimmerman Salter, she's please. Incredibly I'm going to call her and send her the link to get in here. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. But well, she's so say, wonderful. I never, I never did get that same direction that you got, Lori. <laughs> so fantastic. I right. Mean, wow. Yeah, That's and speaking of fantastic, I got a nice shout out to you and me for Fantastic Four when we played yes. brother and sister. Always, 
Johnny and Sue's throne. Flame on. Get down. I feel like that's what I got to say was, get down from there. Watch out, Reed. Be careful. The one thing that I know all fellow voice actors, everyone's laughing. This is so true, right, guys? So if you listen to like a naked track of anything that's in action, Quentin, you and I were driving around running errands together and we were, the direction, the director had changed and he was like, hey guys, can you just, (laughs) can you make sure that next time we come back, he either wanted it like less cartoony, more Marvel, less Marvel, I don't remember. But he gave us the dry track of a session and it's a lot of effort noises. And so stripped down, it just sounds like we're all constipated and having sex. It's all like, ah, 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 ah. No, I've got you. Yes, I'm coming to get you. I'm coming. Okay, it's ridiculous. Sorry. But am I right? Am I right, guys? Give me some hearts if I'm right. Out of context, we sound like constipated, orgasmic, crazy people if it's just the dry track that you're listening to. Also, at dinner, uh, afterwards, we do. Yeah. (laughs) I never told you. Or even after dinner. I think it's tough. Oh, My boyfriend got a chuckle out of that. Oh, my God. And then later on the toilet. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Tom T was the director. <laughs> Come on. Yes. Come on. But who was directing it before Quentin Fantastic Four? It was Tom T and then somebody else or vice versa? This is how uh, I should Tom remember. Tom was the second director. And actually, his most unusual direction, <laughs> direction so was, was... Please sound more like a sitcom. <laughs> Oh, really? And you yeah, said, really? come and knock on our door. Yeah, which one? Yeah, I, I, just, <laughs> I, think, I think Chris Zimmer is going to FaceTime real quick. She's in the middle. She of- is. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that was awesome of you, Robin. Oh. How do we do this? It's awesome. And just to, just to remind everyone in the audience, Chris Zimmerman directed every single Woo! English language. Yes. Version of Metal Gear. Yes. 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 Do you think nothing without her? Among a million other things that she's made. You, should we, oh, we really do. Chris! Hold on. Wait, hold on. Uh, what couple between Tom Homey and Bianca? I would say Ariel and Eric. Ariel and Eric. Yeah. Yeah. Ariel and Eric. Yeah. 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 I hope you guys can hear this okay. Thank hold you, Tanzania. Here she is, guys. Hold on. Because, I don't know, because I really like Little Mermaid. Okay, where are you? We can't see you. We don't respect the relationship between Beauty and the Beast. Oh, dang. Seems, seems abusive and. Uh, oh, I love that. Same thing that Little Mermaid, like all she's doing is trying to get get. Who's he talking to? Uh, it's problematic with the song. Chris Zimmerman. <laughs> Chris Zimmerman. Everybody's got to hold the floor for our for our. She's our queen. I may be the boss, but she's our queen. Yeah. I believe so. Who's talking to Chris? Why aren't I talking to Chris? Robin. Robin's talking to Chris. She wants to talk. We're all doing pretty well. We're virtually being added in. Hold on. You guys be quiet so we can hear her. Would Robin call Chris? Wait. Listen. Here we go. Say again, Chris. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Yay! Hi, Chris. Oh my God, we love you. You should see how many people are waving and clapping, and we're so grateful for you. <laughs> you're on live with us no pressure we were talking about how you busted our balls as a voice director how you're haunting us forever and always Meryl was his daughter uh, and she was getting married that day can you guys hear this uh, hi Chris Meryl Campbell found out that Meryl was his daughter and Meryl was about to go get married Wow. Look at us, we're all like, what? And, and, and Meryl was about to get married. Do you guys have any questions for Chris? Uh, four, I think. Yes. Wow. Yeah, four. It was number four. Uh, it was... <laughs> uh, oh, you know what? They were all my favorite moments, you guys. <laughs> Every single one of them. Uh, Chris Zimmerman, I miss you. We miss miss you. you. Chris, thank you for changing our lives. Seriously, you you have soul handedly, career, professional, friendship wise, you brought us together. Thing that happened, and nobody, nobody knew what it was going to end. What it was when I was asked to cast and direct the first one. It was just some game from japan and you know we, it was we did it um real quick side story is that we did a, an entire week's worth of auditions through a casting agency in torrance that i've never heard of 
and I asked if I could please bring in 20 people that I wanted to have 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 a chance. And I don't even know if you guys, no. know, you guys know this. I only asked to bring in 20 of you. 19 of the 20 people I brought in are the ones that were cast. Oh, wow. my God. Wow. Oh, my God, Chris. Wow. Thank you. Holy cow. Thank you, Chris. 19 of the 20. That's for that one, though. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that amazing? Can you give me some hearts? Can you hear this okay? That's wow. amazing. It's awesome. Everybody's standing it's a great story. Here. We're all talking about you. Thanks for tuning in with us. Um, we love you, Chris. We love you, Chris. Charity cabaret event. Any of my cats is interested in going tomorrow evening? Ping me. I'll get you the details. And um, mm -hmm. uh, I gotta run. Okay. We love you. We love you, Chris. We love you. What a beautiful. Hi, Chris. Family. All the best. Yeah, we'll have a Metal Gear Soon party. Right. And I. Okay. Hi, thank you, love you. Take care. Sure. And thank you for being fans. Come to Hawaii and have a party at my house. Thank yes, you. Debbie Mae West is smart and took off, right, Debbie? In the beginning of the pandemic, you're like, I'm going to rent my place. And you're like, I'm off to Hawaii. Okay, we love you. Bye. See you, love you Chris. Around. Yes. Good to see you. Bye. Um, okay. I have a question for you guys. So look at Quentin and I having coffee. So anyway, um, so Christopher, Debbie, obviously Robin, myself, and I'm not sure who else. Um, we're not in the studio with you guys, which is a bummer. Um, I'm stuck in a Dallas hotel room. I shouldn't say stuck. No one's making me be here. But anyway, when we get back, we'll do another live perhaps, right? For those of us. And then we can do another live and make sure that we're signing the poster. Can I see it? Can you guys show it to me? Absolutely. And did you mention another Metal Gear Solid signing? Um, I, I know. I want to do that. one personally when I'm... Oh, my God. Do you have enough for us? Wow, yeah, that's so cool. Come look, honey. Uh, really well Everybody, this is Mark. This is my boyfriend, Mark. Hi. Hi, Mark. Hi. hi. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Behind the huge coffee oh. cup. Okay, let's see that poster. And thank you, Robin, yes. to everybody at Streamily for making this happen. And, and for me, all my tech questions and just helping me so much. It's all good. Get ready. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, my. Wait, stop. Can we all sign one for that each other? So yes, cool. I was just going to say, can you guys sign a lot extra? Can we have one? I'd like a post, though. Yeah, you know, it's almost worth flying to Los Angeles just so I can participate in that signing. Where are you, Christopher? I'm in, uh, right now I'm in Massachusetts, but I'm based in New York City. So, oh, that's right. Uh, East, East and Coast. Debbie's based yeah, in Hawaii. Yeah. Debbie, Debbie Hawaii. I am going to come visit you. About as far away as you can possibly be as far as in as the United from States. You. My friends from New York just got here yesterday, the uh, family of four, so I... Have to go show them around soon. So okay. I'm signing away now and then I'm going to check no, out. But I have to um, have an, an amazing time with your friends, Debbie. Come visit me, Lori. I, I would. Are you in Kauai? I'm on Kauai, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm I, Well, careful what you wish for. If you do, that's I'm coming to visit you. Oh, yeah. We'll talk 100%. about this privately, but I, I okay. <laughs> would love that more than you know. And you look beautiful you and rested. You for a girl's weekend. <gasps> Hi, Tej. It would be a very revolver also. Oh, <laughs> everyone's saying hi to you, Mark. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to do another IG Live when I come in to sign stuff. David, you got a haircut. It looks very cute. I know you look great, David. Oh, well, thank you. I agree. Uh, I <laughs> I was asked. I was asked to. Fly, I was asked to uh, be in a friend's like some short film where I had to play a detective and my hair was down past my shoulders. Uh -huh. And he was like, "No, probably better that you cut it." So I cut it, and then and then he's like, "Oh, it's film's not happening." And I was like, oh. "Yeah, but I like it." And so you cut your hair, and Quentin grew his out. So you guys must have planned that, no? Besides just to coincidental with you. I don't make any cousin. hair moves without consulting Quentin. Duh. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Did Quentin get any of the hair that was cut? <laughs> 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 he, he, yeah, you wove it into his own hair. Quentin, are you going to go salt and pepper? Or are you just going to go ahead and do it and go gray? I've known you for a long time. You can share with me. No one else is listening, honey. No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just, I did the, I've done it a couple of times uh, before. I say and, do it. And, and, and actually, right uh, when COVID started... I had an on-camera commercial 
audition and uh, the director said look you're our guy just if you would cut your hair just deal and, with that um, fucking hair i'm just kidding but he said darken it if you wouldn't you know because you look younger and I, I prefer that i said sure and much like in david's situation they changed changed their mind went in a completely different way yeah so ever since that time i've been just growing it out and, um, you pet it every day. Was, you need to be like Marsha Brady and go 1001, 1003, or however many times Marsha Brady was like brushing her hair. Oh, yeah, right. right? <laughs> um, you guys, I have to go write a speech. Up 90s style, that's all. Yeah, it's very You're 90s. What? I love it. For now, I'm just growing it out, you know, 90s style or 70s. Yeah, give a shout out to folks on IG Live. They're all saying hi, cast. Hi, hi everybody. Oh, I just realized you guys aren't seeing. How do I turn it around? I can't figure it out. David, How do I... when did you cut your hair? What am I saying? There. I have no idea. I published a couple months ago. Yeah. Okay, oh, now say oh, hi again. Well, because I now I have the camera turned long. around That's properly. Guys, it was like, called like three weeks ago. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> I love that. Lori letter, literally never <laughs> ages. That's great. Hey, Quentin, David. Thank you, Tobio. Thank David you on my IG Live says, can Quentin do Axel from Kingdom Hearts? Oh, well, yes, I can. Okay, go for it. Uh, oh. Okay. oh, will I? Sure. Will uh, I? Who, who, who asked? Uh, David. David, I can't pronounce your last name. Uh, Menz, Menji. So he... David, I'm so mm -hmm. flattered you'd ask me to say hello during a Metal Gear <laughs> signing. <laughs> Why not? So with that, ladies and gentlemen, right now we're going to go into our signing portion of, yeah. of the stream. So, so we're done all the time, I'm going to start off signing your prints. Don't forget to go to streamly.com slash metal gear solid and get your prints so you guys can get patience while holding up your prints. And we're going to have show up. So that's how it's going to be, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to sign your prints. I'm saying who's dedicated to, or if it's not to anybody, then go on to the next print while you guys are having a blast because I didn't want to interrupt you guys. You guys are. Heck of a time. So, as so uh, should we? Did, can you say that again? Uh, uh, should we do it in the chat or talk out loud in the chat? Right? Oh, talk. Use your talk words. Out talk out loud. Yeah, if you, if you're Debbie, if you're signing for like Jonathan, be like, hey Jonathan, this print's for you. All right, goodbye. And okay. and speaking of that, I. Guys, I over each other. First of all, I just want to say, you know, last time I get out with you, I'm going to try to make it to Streamly today to sign those posters. Yeah, Robin, I'll right. or we can wait and do it together next week if you'd like. Yeah, they can always mail them to us as well. Yeah, I want to say week. thank you to some folks. I'm still signing, and then when I, if anybody else wants to come back in, like Robin, I know Debbie and Christopher can't, but um, just wanted to show you real quick before I sign off, there's other great, David, would you be willing to do another live with me? Because look at this print, remember David? Boss and Snake. Oh. Oh, I would, of course. Yeah, of and course. this is beautiful, so we'd love to do that for you, Boss and Snake, which I love. I have, I have one that's Debbie Davis. Yes. That's beautiful. Like we should probably go to Hawaii. And <gasps> oh, yeah. yes. That's a great idea. Who would want us to go to Hawaii and sign? Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yes. For anybody that didn't see, I was holding up this picture. I love the haircut. Will you meet me at the beach for a date? Yes. Oh. Yes, but probably a nice sauna to start with. Okay, bye, guys. I love you so much. Have an amazing time signing. Bye, Tish. Bye, David. Bye, Christopher. Bye, Q. Bye, Debbie. Lori, what did you win? I'm not supposed to know, but it's like a lifetime achievement legend of the year. And I said, I don't know how much of a legend I've been in, you know, in the fetal position in my sweatpants for two years, like everybody else. But I'm very grateful. And part of it is because we have such a great community of voice actors and fans and engineers. And when you think about what goes into making a, even an animated thing, you're just, it blows your mind. Sometimes there's hundreds of artists on just one character, right? So there's so much that goes into it. So I'm grateful to be surrounded with those kind of folks today. And um, it's called One Voice here in Dallas. And so um, nice. thank you for asking. That's so sweet. Awesome. So have a great signing, everybody. Lots of love. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And I'm going to sign off now. I miss you guys. I'm just going to sit and look at your faces. I miss you all very, very much. You're amazing, Lori. You're amazing. Bye. I love you guys. I'm getting all emotional. Okay. Mwah.
Love you. Love you, love you, love you. I don't, I have to leave the studio. I don't want to. Oh, you guys, that made me so sad, but happy at the same time. Um, thank you so much for joining. Um, I'm glad that he was able to do that for you, Axel. I love that character. Um, thought my last name is tricky to pronounce. I'm so sorry because it's African name. It's beautiful. I apologize because I probably butchered it, but thank you so much. And then um, I am doing well. I'm very, very well. I'm in love. I'm happy. And um, you got to get to San Antonio, Texas. I know. Is that Caddy? Caddy? Caddy Biscone is a dear friend. I don't know if you're on here, Caddy, but oh my gosh, I love you to bits. And um, that's about it. So guys, thank you so much. Again, when I do another IG Live, I'll promote it because this one is badass. They made this for us. They did Snake and like all the characters and this picture, of course. And if she should crash the party, I kind of can't help it. Um, have a great rest of your weekend. Stay safe. Who's staying safe? I need some hearts on who's staying safe and vaxxed and all that stuff. Pearl. Yes, that's me. Um, good. Okay. Stay safe. I love you. And I'll let you know when I'm, I'm heading back into the, uh, the office in LA to sign the send-ins and the posters. Thank you so much. And I'm so glad we wouldn't have, uh, if we hadn't all been chatting, we wouldn't have thought to ask to have the cast sign them for each other. So thank you so much. Um, it was wonderful joining you. Can't wait to take another class from you hopefully soon. Yes, please email me, coach me. Coach me at lauriallen.com because I coach and do people's demos and I'd be happy to be on your voiceover journey. Um, that would be great. And I apologize if I can't see who that is right now. My eyeballs are going a little cross-eyed. It's tough to do that. Um, type out your name, please. Oh my gosh, I feel terrible. But yes, please, please allow me to be on your voiceover journey. I love it. I've been doing this since I was a kid. And on that note, I better go write my speech for tonight and I'll post some of that later tonight as well or tomorrow. So thank you for joining me. I love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Again, stay safe, enjoy your summer, and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye everybody. Mwah. I'm gonna figure out how to get off of here. Okay, I think I just hit the X. Okay, lots of love everybody.